Well, it's interesting. Uh, my ex-husband made a comment to me when we were getting our divorce. He said, you should be a Playboy bunny. That's the lovely voice of Judy Tippett, a fascinating woman here in St. Louis who's had sort of a Forrest Gump kind of a life. As a young child, she visited the White House on a regular basis, even sat on President Harry Truman's lap several times. These days, she leads up a group that advocates for more space exploration, urging us to reach deeper into the stars. But it's a job she held down between now and when she sat on the president's lap that she gets asked about most of the time. In fact, that's how her friends often introduce her. This is my friend Judy. She was a Playboy bunny. Judy wasn't just any Playboy bunny. Judy worked at the St. Louis Playboy Club. Yes, St. Louis had a Playboy Club and the building is still there. Now, it could be that you're too young to know what a Playboy Club is or was. They were high-end cocktail bars run by Hugh Hefner and his Playboy magazine empire. And the famous waitresses were called Playboy bunnies with sort of skimpy outfits and bunny ears. Now, it was not a strip joint. And as you'll hear Judy explain it, it sounds almost sort of wholesome compared to some of the things we see these days. But keep in mind, this was a different St. Louis. Judy worked there sometime in the late 60s. She refused to give specific dates. Oh no, that's a secret. But Judy was happy to share many other details from a St. Louis that just doesn't exist anymore. I think you'll dig her story. And the way she tells it, her voice almost sounds like Gloria Stewart, the woman in the Titanic, the wise older woman who narrates the whole story. Just very beautiful to listen to. So here she is in her own words on a McGonagall Chronicles podcast I'm calling You Should Be a Playboy Bunny. Not you listening. I don't know you. Maybe you should, maybe you shouldn't. But it's something someone told Judy many years ago, and she has a heck of a story. Here it is. You should be a Playboy bunny. And lo and behold, (laughs) I went to visit my sister in St. Louis, and there was a Playboy club there. So I just, on a lark, decided to go into the Playboy club and apply. And I was 26 years old at the time, which is usually retirement age for a bunny. So I was quite happy when I got the job. Uh, Oh, I had to call and make an appointment with the bunny mother. Bunny mother's name was Sandy. And she put you in a costume. That was the first thing. And you had to go in and say hi to the manager in his office. He said, okay, she looks pretty good. And from there on, uh, it was a go. And they said, you're hired on the spot? That's right. First, you had to learn to be a waitress. And I learned all the drinks and where you place them on your tray and how to do the bunny dip to deliver them. But I absolutely did not like being a waitress. So I volunteered to be the disco bunny on Monday night, played the records, danced with the customers. And on Friday night, I was the uh, pool bunny. That means I played bumper pool with the customers, a dollar a game, win or lose. And on Saturday night, I was the photo bunny. I took all the souvenir photos. And I made a lot more money than if I was working as a secretary. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. The customers all had to be key holders. You couldn't just walk into a Playboy Club. You had to become a member. So it was like an exclusive club. On the first level, we had a disco area and a bar. On the second level, we had a dining. And on the top level, we had what was known as the penthouse. And we had shows. We had famous uh, singers and comedians coming through. They traveled around the country going from one Playboy club to the next. And so we met a lot of interesting people. And the place was always full and fun. And just in case you're wondering, the St. Louis Playboy Club was not a strip club. There was no nudity, and as Judy explains here, absolutely no hanky-panky. The Playboy Clubs all had Pinkerton detectives checking up not only on the customers, but on the bunnies. You were not supposed to uh, date a customer. And they would try to make dates with you, these detectives. I found out about this when I became the catering manager because I had access to all the files. And went through and I found my file where a Pinkerton detective had said, this bunny is 
when she's not working, she's over at the bar reading a book. <laughs> they thought that was totally inappropriate. Oh Little did he know I was reading a book that my night manager had given me on management so that I could become the catering manager. I don't try to explain it all to everybody, um, I, but I do notice that I have a lot of friends who think it, that is the best way to introduce me. They always, it's been years since I was a Playboy bunny, but that's what they want to talk about. Right. This, is, this is my friend Judy. She was a Playboy bunny. Right. Do you okay with that? It, it doesn't get old? Or I just say? laugh it off. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's such a um, familiar landmark. It's a shame that it's falling into such ill repair. It was a res another restaurant after the Playboy Club left, and it's a shame that nobody has used it for another re to be a restaurant again. Right. All right. Did you hold on to your um, your ears or your? Oh, I do. I have my ears, and I have a tail. It was a little fluffy tail that snapped on the back of your costume, and I friends of mine have given me um, old ashtrays from the Playboy Club and matches and lighters and even a key card oh my goodness that's amazing and did uh I'll, I'll, just a couple more questions did your parents back at the back in dc did they know would they have cared uh my mother did my father died young oh, i'm sorry yeah but my mother did know that i was playboy club she thought it was a hoot <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. When I was in elementary school, my mother was the uh, secretary to President Truman. And my sister and I got on the school bus after school, and we were dropped at the White House every day for four years. You're kidding me. And did you go inside or just meet your mom there? We went inside and had our after school snack with the pastry chef. His name was Pie. Oh, my word. Did you meet the president? Sat on his lap. Come on. Got a big hug. You're kidding. What, what do you remember as President Truman? He was a wonderful man. He was so friendly. Uh, things back, of course, in those days were totally different than they are now. Not the same security. And uh, it, was, it was just great to go to the White House and meet the other secretaries. There was a room full of secretaries. And my mother um, really enjoyed working for President Truman. You want to put in a plug for the um, conference? Absolutely. We are having the International Space Development Conference of 2017 right here in St. Louis at Union Station, May 25th through the 29th. And we would love for people from all over St. Louis to come and learn what's going on in space today. And do you think you're the country's leading former Playboy bunny who now advocates for space exploration? Absolutely, without a question. <laughs>So that's Judy Tippett and her cool little chapter of St. Louis history about her time at the St. Louis Playboy Bunny Club sometime in the 60s. She didn't want to say exactly when, but you could uh, look it up. There's stuff online. It's very interesting. If you want to just look at the building, it's still there. If you are heading west on Lindell Boulevard, leaving the SLU campus, right after you cross over Vandevender, look to your left. It's uh, one of the first buildings on the left with sort of a long, narrow awning. It's been different things over the years. And uh, last time I was there, right on the sidewalk outside, you could still sort of see the little iconic Playboy Bunny logo. Please don't take this as a uh, green light to go trespass. Um, again, if my memory serves, you can see it without really trespassing. But just a neat little chapter of St. Louis history. And these are the kind of people, kind of the stories I uh, want to profile and spend a little extra time talking to here on the McGonagall Chronicles. If you have any ideas, hey, shoot me an email, pmcgonagall at ksdk.com. And if you found this on the iTunes store or wherever you happen to listen, uh, leave a comment, leave a rating. It really helps. Tell a friend. And... Um, I think that's it. Judy Tippett, you should be a Playboy bunny. Actually, she was. And I'm all done. Take care.